intelligent than you make out. <laughs> so that's the thing. Like, I know, I know, I know you're like, oh, my name's just a really hip and cool, but I know you got something up there working. If you're an idiot, I wouldn't worry. <laughs> you're not. I've got a lot of random crap trivia in my head. I just, just loads of random crap that I've read somewhere. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> is this all being recorded? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to have Paige. I would have loved to have had Paige. That's a big at you. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have liked to have Boyd. I, I, I wouldn't have liked to have Gareth either. And I, to be honest, I wouldn't have liked to have you. Because I know, I know you've got it up there. I know you have. Yeah, but for me, because I'm writing the questions, yesterday we did like an online BuzzFeed quiz. So like, yeah, it wasn't trivia, so to speak. It was like pop culture. I'm yeah. Not a pop culture kind of person. But, right. Here we go. <laughs> He's got a dicky bow. He's got a dicky bow. What? <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today's quiz is uh, Josh against James. Each get a round to themselves, uh, and then um, everyone answers all the questions. Each has a specialist round, and then five general knowledge questions to finish off. So, round number one: the Josh Robinson uh, specialist round. <clears throat> WWE. <laughs> what? Sorry. Might actually, might actually be able to get out your with us. So, okay. answers written down on your pages. We'll reveal them after five, and then we'll go through the answers. So, All right. this is number one. What is the most electrifying move in sports entertainment? The most electrifying move in sports entertainment. Question number two. What is the name of the tag team duo that Kane and Undertaker formed? The name of the tag team duo that Kane and Undertaker formed. Question number three. Name one of the two wrestlers who have been removed from the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh. One of the two wrestlers who have been removed from the WWE Hall of Fame. Question number four. Who is the Chief Executive Officer, the CEO, of WWE? And lastly, multiple choice, which of these individuals is not a member of the WWE Hall of Fame? A, Trish Stratus, B, Kane, C, Mick Foley, 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 I don't know, Foley. or D, Donald Trump? Can you, could you repeat the first two? Trish Stratus. I know it was Trish Stratus and then... Kane. Okay. Are we happy? Do we have five answers? Yep. Right? Yes. Three is the only person I'm, I'm, I'm shook there because I didn't know anybody had been removed. Hold them up on the screen for me. Let me see. No, it's okay. Very good, very good. So, the, the correct answer is the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. People's elbow? Yep. Yeah, I've, got, people... I've, got, I've, I've got it down as the rock bottom slash people's elbow. Oh, I that's I put people's elbow. That's 50 50. Come on, you gotta give me that. People's elbow, the, that's acceptable. Yeah, the both of those happen in the one thing he does that, and then he does that. They're all one continuous the tag team duo, the brothers of destruction. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, I put the death squad. Uh, both Hulk Hogan and Jimmy Snooker have been removed. Oh, yeah, Jimmy Snooker got removed because of uh, some legal complication or something. The, the CEO is Vince McMahon. 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 Yeah. Okay, well, I got that wrong because I was pretty sure Triple H was the CEO currently. And, <laughs> oh, I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. Google told me otherwise. Um, and which individual is not a member? Donald Kane. Kane. Oh, what? Donald Trump's. <laughs> Josh, you got how many out of five? Three. So, three, two, okay. Now, we go on to uh, James' specialist round, which is, uh, 
English rugby from 1999 to present. Okay, he, he, this is a cakewalk for him. He's just going to walk walk through this. Like, no, I, okay. I might not. That's the thing. <laughs> Question number one. Yeah. Who scored Ireland's first try when they defeated England on St. Patrick's Day to claim the Grand Slam in 2018? I, I, I actually don't know rugby. <laughs> So. Question number two. Former England under-20 star Billy Burns was named in Ireland's Guinness Six Nations squad for 2020. Which Irish province does he play for? In what year did Ireland famously host and beat England at Croke Park for the first time? Question four. In 2006, Ireland claimed the Triple Crown by defeating England at Twickenham. Who scored a famous last-minute try to steal victory? In what year? 2006. And lastly, Declan Kidney won a Six Nations Grand Slam with Ireland in 2009 as head coach. Uh, which English club does he now work for? Is it A, London Irish, B, Bath, C, Exeter Chiefs, or C, or D, Gloucester? So, any questions you'd like repeated? Uh, the one about who scored the Ireland try to beat England. The, was, that, was that when they Question beat nine. them on Patrick's Day for the Grand Slam in 2018 or when they beat them in 2006 for the Triple Two, Crown at Twickenham? 2006. Four. Question four. Uh, they claimed the Triple Crown by defeating England at Twickenham. Who scored the famous last minute try? Who scored it? Who scored it? Uh, do you know what? Let's let's put a risk out there. Okay. Any get? Let, let's go through them. I'm I'm assuming Josh. I'm going to guess here, but James, let's go through. Any guesses for the first one? As I thought it was Stockdale. Gary Ringrose. <sighs> uh, Billy Burns plays for what province? Ulster. Ulster. Uh, Ireland at Croke Park. Two thousand four. Two thousand seven. Oh. Triple Crown by defeating England at Twickenham. Last minute try. Carney. Gian Horgan. And Declan Kidney. Uh, which English club does he work for? D. Josh, any guesses? Uh, no, I got them all wrong anyway. <laughs> Did you guess the last one? Guess it. Yeah, I guess, I guess C. It, it was A, London Irish. I thought it was. I thought it was. Right. So that brings the scores to what? I'm on, currently on three. Three all, right. Last final five questions. Good, good luck, Josh. Good luck. Okay, good luck, James. Final five. Final five. Oh! It's getting all tense now. Which Williams sister has won more Grand Slam titles? Which planet is the hottest in the solar system? Josh, you had your planet research this week. I wasn't researching the heat. <laughs> Which animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? How many hearts does an octopus have? It's more than one. And finally, name the item that makes up the main part of Boyd's social distance measure. He built a device for social distancing. What was the main part of that device? Okay, let's do this. Can't even remember that last one, to be honest with you. Oh, right. Which Williams sister? Serena. Venus. Serena. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which planet is the hottest? I guess I'm Mars. I put the sun. It's Venus. It's the opposite of Serena. Which animal is on the Porsche logo? Horse. 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 How many hearts does an octopus have? Two. Three. Three is the right answer. Oh! So, the tie-breaking question then? Is, is the one that I have no idea, because <laughs> I can't remember. 
Can Nathan I, added it makes up the main part of Boyd's social distance measure. Ski sleds. Shh, for skiing. Shh. Jeez. 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 is the right answer. I, I won! Yeah. Yeah, I'm defeated! <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my mum and dad and, uh, <laughs> and Gareth as well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another trivia game. Come on, just dance. <laughs> Why is Gareth doing this? I'm going to stick to the <laughs> right, Guys, I've got to get back to work, all right? Thank you for that.